So here we are down at the TT Gallery at the Manx Museum, and what better person than John with the, the wealth of knowledge, even just walking down here to get to this intro, he's been telling me all about it. But we'll start here, next to his levers. John, 2011, did we say? Yeah, 2011. Well, 2011 yeah. Uh, TT Legend Leathers, yeah, great year. Yeah, the double double win at the TT that year, won the, the Superbike race and the senior TT yeah. that year. So yeah, yeah, it was good. So how important is it to have things like this in here? When, we, like we've said, we've been round and we've seen Mike Halewood's bike. There's like Molly's, We've got Foggy's bike over there. His is like can't get enough of it, mate. Do you realise how important you are to the TT without blowing your trumpet too much? Probably not, but I, I get it. You know, yeah. I remember being a youngster coming across when I was ten years old, and you know, I was straight to Joey's garage to, to just get a peep, you yeah. know, look at him with the with the bikes, and then uh, all the riders at the time were gladiators to me, the heroes, Mick Grant and Crosby, and all them top riders, Ron Aslam and Joey, and. It was just brilliant. I just chased them around. So, uh, you know, if I were a fan, I'd be the, one of the first places I'd be going when I got to the ferry would be at this museum to check out this wonderful display. So, if someone said to you as a kid, this is what the older version of John McGuinness is going to be like, would you have. Uh, what would you have said I'd to be him? happy. Oh, of right, course, cool, yeah. Would <laughs> yeah, you have believed I, it though, or what? <laughs> probably not. No, when I first came across, I just I wanted to do it. I wanted to be a TT rider. I'd never, you know, I never. I was only a kid, but you know, it, it was just my dream, and uh, yeah, we just chipped away on starting racing to to become a TT rider. And we're here now, you know, I'm, I'm 51 on Sunday, so I never thought at this age I'd still be going. It's kind of, it's kind of lucky because didn't you say to Becky, "We'll get one done. I'll win one, then we'll 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 close that door on that, and that'll be it." That was the words, yeah. I said, you know, if I win a TT in the British Championship, that'll be me done. I did both in the same year, '99, and then it was. What can we do next? You know, we need to go up the ladder a bit further. It was a smaller capacity bike, so I wanted to ride big bikes and win a win a big TT. And uh, you know, we've, we've we've got our hands on a few of them. So if you'd have won that senior in the first year, boom, that'd have been it. <laughs> you'd have done. Probably not. Yeah. Right. No, I can't help it. <laughs> One tradition while we're here, we may as well. Bit of a superstition of yours mm. to throw a penny down your levers before we start. So are you going to give me a penny, Chris? Right, you would. Uh... <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Well, 2004, it was. Uh, my son, he'll only be a toddler, so he, he found a penny on the floor and he sort of handed it to us and I, I thought that would be my lucky penny. And uh, he always pop it down my leathers on the start line, helmet on and away. Can we get into these leathers? <laughs> Are we putting it in? Pop it in. <laughs> there you go. Look at that little secret, no one else will know yeah. until we watch this. Maybe look a bit slimmer as well, you guys. <laughs> well, maybe not. <laughs> right, let's take a look around. Right, this trophy, by far the most oh. valuable trophy, probably in any motorsport, right? A hundred percent. Yeah. That, that's so iconic, and do you know the, the amazing thing? People can see it, because it's normally in a vault, never never, to, never to be yeah. seen. It comes out special occasions, you pick it up, they're still behind you going, don't drop it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's hard to pick up, you can only sort of pick up the, From the this spot, some, this spot, two yeah. or three tiers, yeah. and you, you can't hold, but I have, uh, I managed to lift it seven times, so quite so, proud of that. So your name and yeah. Mike Elwood's name are the only names that are on there seven times. That's right, yeah, seven That's, times. Yeah. I mean, you've, <laughs> you look at Elwood as a hero. Yeah. And there you are. Is is legacy important to you? Uh, that people uh, will be talking uh, about I John McGuinness. I suppose it is now, but at the time you're just years. going through your, your, you know, your racing and things are happening, and you you don't realise, and you and you kick back, then you do have a think about it, and you think, oh, I've won it seven times. It's amazing, really. It's just, Something I'm dead proud of. I'm, you know, so. Uh, and my family as well. My dad and my mum and all. You know, they've, they've been there m many times when yeah. I won my old seven. When my dad was in tears, and then you know, and, uh, and then that 15 one when I was again, I was on the ropes really. You know, they, they said to me, you, you know, a few little bits and nibbling at me that I'm too old and etc. etc. And then I come out with my boxing gloves on and box my way to the front. So, you know, the 15 one will be on there and probably my finest hour. Mm -hmm. But I'm just looking at it now, it's spinning around. There you go, George Meyer, a little story about that German there. I met him uh, 50 years after won the, he won the TT, just before the war. So then it goes bang for a year or two, then he comes back again. And then, <laughs> yeah. you know, Jeff Duke there, Jimmy Guthrie. You know. Guthrie's on there, yeah, sorry. Yeah. And if you look at the times as well, like, incredible. what, three hours, three hours and well, four, four minutes? Races, there'll like be longer that. races, you yeah. see. Mm, you know, Stanley Woods. Yeah. He made a toffee factory, didn't he, Stanley Woods? He had two wives, you know. 
legend. Just, just I know, you look at all each and every name, it's got a story. Yeah, absolutely. These just unbelievable on on stories. On on. Artie Bell, Harold Daniels, I'm telling you about him. He couldn't, couldn't get in the, in the army because he was yeah. clinically blind, but he could win a TT. So. Ray Ham just goes on and on. Jeff Stewart again there coming on. Surtees on the uh, on the MV. So it's just iconic. I mean, only guy to win Jumeirah. bike world championship, car world, car world championship. championship. Yeah. Gary Hawking, Aylward again. Just ace. It was round and round. And then Hizzy. Yeah. Eleven times winner. Hizzy again. Philip McCallum. I just sit here and just. I know. Games, I just couldn't couldn't you? Forever. Yeah, I could. But well, that's I it. Could. You look at them but and you go. You can just pull one out story. and bring a story. Yeah. yeah. You can pull one of them out and bring a story. David Jeffries, real good mate of mine. I think that's what. I mean, David was dominant. Yeah. He did the treble, treble, treble. Three years, one nine. Yeah. And we lost him, but you know, just amazing. That's amazing. That. Well, I was his that teammate as well. So was this HM plan? Yeah, I was Molly's teammate that year, and he went and did. He went and like really really fast in practice did like an unbelievable lap 116 summit at the time was like insane on a side car yeah and i think passenger i got another wrinkle and it got the wind underneath it turned it over just over the jump yeah it sort of turned it over then it came it just bust into flames and obviously you know it had to just sort of burn itself out but you've done any sidecar riding i've driven a sidecar yeah but not at competitive level yeah but. I mean, Molly's, Molly is unbelievable. 17 wins, I think. Yeah, I 17. Mean, he only gets two bites of the cherry a year, doesn't he? So. Yeah, that's the other thing, it's yeah. Just, I mean, all his own chassis that he made and class act. Mm. Class act is Molly and I was running and, that KTM still going. thing. And, yeah. Fit as and he's about 80 odd, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he's older than me. Look at the old scoreboard. Fantastic to see that. Oh, I didn't even see that. Mm. The stories that could tell, isn't it? And what's it feel like to have a, have a part of the TT named after you as well? That's cool, isn't it? It's cool to have it because it'll always be there, won't it? Yeah, when I'm exactly, gone, it'll yeah. still be McGuinness. That's it, yeah. It's so. nice to get it while it's still current. Yeah. Instead of something you still happening get to and around getting it. it later as a yeah. as a tribute. It's nice to get it while you're still so current. So what what, at what point do you think you'll stop? I'll stop enjoying it, I think. I'll but I don't think I'll ever stop enjoying it, though. Well, maybe someone should tell me to stop. But you're not going to listen to them. license. <laughs> Take your license away. Well, I suppose, but they're not going to stop you. You're, ca you're, you're capable, you're competitive, you enjoy it. There's no reason to stop. As long as right? people don't laugh at me, I think I'm wasting people's time. And I could maybe write some classic stuff or something for a while. But, but I think I'd, you wouldn't be riding a factory under if people didn't think you could still <laughs> do it, though. You'd be scraping the I, barrel I and trying I enjoy it. it. I still enjoy it. That's, that's yeah. probably the problem. Go on, let's, let's see who your favourite um, TT rider is. You get to vote on your, uh, your absolute no-brainer. Joey Dunlop, my hero. I think it's going to be pretty full that one, isn't it? it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Not that one. <laughs> to get on with Big him. respect guy, but you know, not my favourite. <laughs> of course, to get on with him. Yeah, I was his last teammate. I was oh, his last course, teammate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I spent spent a lot of time with him. Travelled a little bit together. Went testing together. Went to Japan together to test the electric bike and. Good fun. Mm. But yeah. He wasn't a slow rider, was he? No, great rider. Just a shame he never won one. Oh, sorry, do we have to go now? Let's wrap it up, John. As a, always, a pleasure, mate. Thank you. Talking here forever. <laughs>